Oh, blow up. Did you guys see that? All right, guys, Dustin here, Edge Fishing. Uh, we're out here at Spring Mill Lake today again at Spring Mill State Park. I think I hear hikers in the woods or something. Looks like it's going to rain today, a little overcast, but uh, we're out here to try to get some bass this morning. So we hope we get something on. If you're new here, you haven't subscribed, get down there and click the subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. And if you do that, turn the bell on for notifications so you get notified every time we upload. If you would, go down there and smash that like button. Let us know you like the video and leave a comment below. Let us know what we can improve on. All right, short and sweet. We're going to get into it. Here we go. All right, guys, we're here at Spring Mill State Park. Again, going to do a little bit of bass fishing. Try to, anyways. I'm throwing the Berkeley Chopo 90. Kids started school today back to school figured I'd come out and give the old lake a shot this Berkeley Chopo don't start doing anything um, I'm gonna throw on the old Ned rig since it done so good the other day but we're just out here to see what happens I honestly don't know that anything will hit. It's, uh, uh, what time is it? It is 9.37 according to the old Garmin Striker 4. So, if there was a topwater bite this morning, it may be over. i tell you what, this, uh, This bait caster actually casts a little better than Ethan's. This uh, Bass Pro Tourney Special that's about, oh, probably 10 years old. Oh, blow up. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, it blew right up on that. Awesome. Awesome. He blew right up on that. Berkeley Chapo 90. He blew up on that. Nice. All right, let's put him back. Nice fish. Let's let him go. Awesome. And he just come up and hit that dude. I love that. You guys like that? There's, gosh, I can't. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you enough how much I love that. I am going to pull. Pull my motor up. Get it out of the water. This is trolling trolling motor or electric only can't use your gas powered engine which is nice because in this small 1542 tracker topper uh, it gets a little dicey whenever whenever you're out on big waters and boats are just cruising along 
throwing wakes like crazy. I ain't got to worry about that here. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but uh, I'm using, started off using my uh, Berkeley Chop 090 um, in chrome and black. I had to get this after I lost my first Berkeley 90 up at Lake Monroe. Um, it was a bone collar, which I really liked. Uh, but a tree up there wanted it more than, than me, so it took it. Or I guess the lure wanted, oh, dang, one just come up and hit on that. I wonder if there's any smallmouth in here. Any of you guys ever fished spring mill? Ever caught any smallmouth? Out of here. And they stock this lake too with trout. Um, but I'm not sure when they stock it and how much they put in it. But any of you guys ever fished for trout here at Spring Mill? And if you have, what's the uh, what's the best baits you've used to catch them on? Let me know down there in the comments. Surely to goodness we're going to get into something else. This water temperature is staying right around. Surface temperature. The back says 68 degrees. 68.85, almost 69 degrees. And the front says... 61, 60, 61 degrees. So this is an older, this is an older hummingbird. Uh, I believe it's a, yeah, 150 unit. And that's my new Garmin Striker 4. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, which one's more accurate. I would think my Garmin, since it's newer, um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, I just cast my Berkeley Chapo, and the cast before that, I got my thumb up in the line, and I, when I went to reel, it kind of messed it up in here. So I went to recast to clear it all out, and when I did, my line snapped where I'd had everything tangled up, and now... Now for the life of me, I can't figure out where it snapped and uh, yeah, it's, uh, you would think it would be this one, but it's, it's all tangled up to, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It's driving me nuts. So I am going to be switching and throwing the Ned Rig or the Wacky Worm. Um, cause I can't seem to find out where this thing split at and it looks like the line's getting frayed anyways. So, and it's low. I, uh, I need to re-spool it. So maybe that's a good thing, I guess. I don't know. So we're done using the old bait caster for the day. Okay guys, I'm going to try my spinning combo real quick. Um, it's my Berkley, uh, Berkley lightning rod shock. Um, I've had this for a while as well. It is a seven foot, I don't know if you guys can read that or not. All right. Well, I can't get it to focus. It's a seven foot medium spinning. Um, with a Quantum Triax 30 reel, spinning reel. Let me try. I've got a Yum Dinger June Bug. Um, or I did. Yeah. One, one lonely five inch Yum Dinger in June Bug. Oh, something just went up over there. Dang it. I'm 
just gonna go straight through the middle. Right like that. Throw the wacky worm at him. Right there. Right there. Right there it is. Right there. I bet that was that one. Nice. Mm. I missed him. No! No, 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 no. Whew, mercy. Okay, doggone. All right, I missed him on the uh, plopper, but I threw the wacky, wacky rigged uh, June bug, yum dinger June bug in at him and uh, hit it. All right, let's let him go. Totally felt one hitting it. Oh, there's a fish right there at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I see fish right through here. Got it. Oh, nice. Little one, but it's fish. Let's put him back. Nice. Caught him on the old wacky rig, which I figured I would. I, I sight cast it on them. They were hanging out right in here. Right in here. Oh crap, I've got a fish on the Ned rig. There we go. Fish on the Ned rig, all three, finally. Right there on the Ned rig. Put him on back. Three fish on the net on the uh, three different baits. Whew. What 
I don't think one was ever going to hit on that. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed that there. We went to Spring Mill again today. I uh, went back there by myself. The kids started school today. Um, so that's the first day back in our area. I threw three different techniques. I, I threw the Berkeley Chopo 90 top water. Uh, I got two hits on that, I believe, two catches, uh, and a lot of blow ups, but nothing to commit. I got one on the Ned rig. That was the hardest to get done today. And I got one on a wacky rigged um, Yum Dinger June bug. So all in all, not a bad day. I didn't get skunked. It wasn't nothing like the other day when we, me and Jathan came here and I was tearing them up with that Ned rig. It was a totally different bite today. So, all right, if you liked the video, go down there, smash that thumbs up, give us that like, uh, we'd appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, go down there and click the subscribe and uh, turn the bell on for notifications so you can be notified every time we upload. Those of you that have subscribed, we appreciate you. Without you guys, it, it, this wouldn't be possible. So, all right, till next time, this is Edge Fishing, and we're out.